What is up everybody, welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to look at what inverse operations mean and how we can use them to help us. Let's go. Okay, well the first thing to understand when we're thinking about inverse operations is that inverse means the opposite. So today we're looking at addition and subtraction. So we've got to understand that addition is the inverse of subtraction and vice versa. But what does that mean? Well, let's have a look. And let's have a look with this first example here where we have 10 plus 5 equals 15. Well, we could have 10 plus 5 equals 15 or we can do the inverse, which means we come backwards. So let's rewrite our question as 15 take away or subtract 5 equals 10. And hopefully you can see that that is the same question just written backwards, but with the inverse operation. We had addition, now we have subtraction. And both of these number sentences give us the correct answer, because 10 plus 5 equals 15, and 15 subtract 5 equals 10. So how does this work and why does it work? Well, to understand, we need to understand something really important about number families. And that is that every number sentence, like this one just here, has a number family. And each number family has four members. So we have 10 plus 5 equals 15, but using the exact same numbers, we can do three more number sentences. For example, I could just move the 10 and the 5 the other way around, and I could say 5 plus 10 also equals 15. That's another number sentence using the same numbers. Now, what we'll notice is that both of these are addition. So to get any more number sentences, I'm going to now have to start coming backwards, and I'm going to start looking at subtraction. So let's look at this question first of all, and let's go backwards. So I'm going to start with a 15. I'm going to say 15, subtract, don't forget. And the next number is 5, coming backwards, equals, and then the last number should be 10. Let's check if that works. 15, subtract 5, equals 10. Well, yes, it does. Therefore, I have my third number family. And then the last one should be the inverse of this one here. Let's check it, and let's go backwards by starting with our 15. So let's put 15, and again, subtract. 10 this time is our next number, equals, and our last number should be 5. 15 subtract 10 equals 5. And here we go. Here are our four number sentences in the same number family. We have 10 plus 5 equals 15, and we have its partner, its inverse, which is 15 minus 5 equals 10. They are linked, they're the inverse. And then the other number sentence for addition is 5 plus 10 equals 15, and then its number family inverse is 15 subtract 10 equals 5. But how could this help you? Well, let's have a look at this question here. Well, let's imagine that we don't know this number here, this 10. And let's say our question now says something minus 5 equals 5. You must have seen a question like this before. It's called a missing number problem. It's where we have the missing number before the equal sign. So how can we use inverse to help us here? Well, we can just use the inverse operation. At the minute, I have subtraction. So now I'm going to use the inverse, which is addition, and just go backwards, starting with my 5. So I have 5, and the inverse is Addition, 5 plus 5 equals question mark. And 5 plus 5 equals 10. So I can write my final number sentence, 5 plus 5 equals 10. Okay, so what to remember about inverse? Inverse means the opposite. And the other really important thing to know is that every number sentence has a number family. And in each number family, we have four number sentences. And the last thing is that the inverse of addition is subtraction. Here we go. Can you write the number families for these two number sentences? 
Put your answers in the comments section. I'm going to look, I'm going to look at them all and mark every one. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there you have it, guys. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, share it with a friend that you think would also benefit from a video like this. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Peace out.